you guys like had a full boyfriend, <laughs> so you should be totally okay with aviary attorney, which is much more serious, but it's awesome. A mix between Hadofo and uh, Ace Attorney. <laughs> yes. Hello, Poke Girl. Hello, Poke Girl. As you can tell, I have the Coco with me. Coco! <laughs> so, yeah, you guys should definitely be checking out. Um, it's on Coco's Friend Buttons channel. And uh, every Thursday they stream Aviary Attorney. So if you're wondering where I am on Thursday evenings, that's where I've been lately. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching them play the game and enjoying it, especially because I can't, I'm never going to play the game myself, probably, as much as I like it. Because I'm like, I don't think I could do all those French accents. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you for the host, Polka Girl. Thank you. Uh, let me see. I think I, my channel auto hosts you, but let me check. Okie dokie. Yes, it is Coco who is with me. She gave us such wonderful jokes la uh, when she was here last time. Alright, Kanetsu streaming right now. Oh, okay. Hello, Poke Girl. Oh, that's right. She's playing Persona 3, right? Yep. I'm so blind to the whole Persona thing. One day I'll get in into it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that you two are here, uh, I don't know when Louisa will drop by, but I think she will. Um, let's just get started. So I did fill in Coco on what happened last time and how uh, right before you guys lost, or <laughs> well, my internet dropped and I don't think you guys saw the last minute, maybe because of that, but basically he was going to run after her. So let me pull up. Okay, hold on Yuri. Uh, the script. No, I was hoping you would still show the script from before. Dang it. Oh dear. But yeah, she she was upset leaving the room, and uh, he realized, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> so <laughs> he ran after her. Um. Oh. Okay. Who who do you want to voice, Coco? I can voice Yuri. Okie dokie. I'm going out too. You're going home, right? Let's go together. I'll drive you. Hello, Louisa, darling. Twitch is working with Chromecast. Awesome. Um, Coco is not the one who is playing Persona 3. Her her friend Konetsu, who is part of 4Pixels, is streaming it right now. Yeah. Hello, Louisa. Oh, no. I'll just take the bus. I felt guilty for bothering him while he was working. And at the same time... I felt a bit upset. I felt like crying. Oh, poor baby. Mm -hmm. What am I feeling right now? It's fine. I'll take you. You know where my car is, right? Oh, is Coco too loud for you guys? Okay, let me lower. All right, hopefully that will help. Wait there. I'll get to my things from the office. Yuri said in a calm voice. But even that felt somewhat cold. He disappeared towards his office. Dude, you ran after her. Why are you still being cold? <laughs> I gathered myself and headed towards the parking lot as he told me to. Did something bad happen to him? I suddenly felt worried about Yuri. It's weird that I clung on to his every word so much that I didn't even wonder if something happened to him. I just wanted to look good in front of him. 
I'm upset that things didn't work out as I hoped. He was silent on the way home. I sat right by his side, but he just focused on his steering wheel. The air feels heavy. Ooh, different music. I should have just taken the bus. I wanted to surprise him, but I guess I failed miserably. Well, not failed, but I feel like he doesn't like me for some reason. Aww. It hasn't even been a day since I realized what I feel for Yuri. But seeing him suddenly change his attitude towards me, I have no idea what to do. And why do I feel so upset? <laughs> Justin, please. <laughs> <laughs> I kept wanting to cry. But I tried my best to keep back the tears. If I start crying here, I really won't be able to take it back. I clenched my fists and silently shouted to myself, Don't cry. Don't cry. At that moment, Yuri and I caught eyes. Ooh, it's wearing the sunglasses. Ooh. <laughs> Instant thirst. <laughs> down, Binks. Oh, I know, right? Gotta calm down. Gosh, if it was a red-headed woman with glasses, ugh, oh, that would be <laughs> amazing. He must have seen my red eyes. I started to talk about something else on purpose. Ah, uh, the the air's pretty dusty today. My uh, my eyes feel prickly. <laughs> uh huh. Poor thing. The car stopped at the red light. Why now? The timing was awful. Yuri stared at me. <sighs> He's like, you're a horrible liar. <laughs> <laughs> he suddenly let out a sigh. I felt my heart sink to hear it. Hey. At that moment, my phone rang and cut his words. Darn it, phone! <laughs> oh my god, what if it's Tay? <laughs> he knows. He knows. Like, somehow he's like, I must cock block this. I felt like I was saved by the bell. Yuri just stared as I purposefully exaggerated while rummaging through my bag to find it. Oh, sorry. It's my phone. The caller ID says it's from overseas. Huh? Her is parents? It? Oh yeah, her parents, that's right. Is it my parents? Hello? Yobuseo, Dai? Hello, Jackie? Oh, Mom? Yes, I'm glad we got to you. Uh, yes we are, Louisa. What's up? Isn't it night there? It is night, but how are you doing? Me? I'm always the same. We haven't seen you since Grandpa passed away. Do you have time next week? Jeez, these parents, man. <laughs> so absentee. <laughs> Time? Why? We're leaving for a seminar next week, and it looks like we'll be able to stop by. You're coming here? Both of you? Yes, but we don't have much time, so we'll probably stay at a hotel near the airport. Hey, Mom, I want you to meet someone. He's pretty much my sugar daddy. <laughs> Justin. I mean, they would Give freak me out. five of my sugar daddies. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, what you doing, girl? <laughs> oh. Her mom pretends to disapprove, but she, like, gives her a thumbs up behind the father's back. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. She'd be like, dang, girl, slap me one of them under the table. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
아빠가 같이 식사라도 하자는데 넌 어떠니? Dad saying we should have dinner together. What do you think? That sounds good. I haven't seen you guys for a while. I'll cancel other plans if I have to. 어머, 그런 예쁜 소리도 할줄 알아? <웃음> 어, 아무래도 엄마랑 아빠가 호텔에서 이동할 시간은 없을 것 같은데. 네가 호텔 Oh, what a nice 같은데? thing to say. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to leave the hotel. Can you come to us instead? Yeah, sure. Tell me the name of the hotel when your schedule is set. 그래, 일정 정해지면 다시 전화할게. Okay, I'll call again when we know everything for sure. Okay. 그리고 말이지, 이번 세미나가 꽤 커서 우리 연구팀이 모두 같이 갈 예정이거든. No. And this seminar is pretty important, so the whole research team will tag along. 그날 호텔에 우리 연구팀 사람들이 전부 다 투숙할 것 같으니까 특별히 신경 좀 쓰고 오도록 해. The whole team will be staying with us, so make sure you look decent when you come. Oh, this is her trying to set her up with some guy. Oh. Really, Mom? You come to see me after so long and this is what you do? 엄마랑 아빠 친구분들도 많이 계시단다. 무슨 말인지 알지? 우리 체면도 생각해 주렴. We have a lot of friends with us. You know what I mean, right? Think of our reputation. Wow. That's that's so horrible. Okay, I'll make sure. 웬일로 그렇게 고분고분하게 대답을 하니? 아무튼 그렇게 말을 해주니 엄마는 기쁘다. 그럼 다음 주에 보자. I've never heard you listen to me this well. Anyways, I'm glad you understand. Then see you next week. Yeah, see you soon. <sighs> 부모님이야? Your parents. After I hung up, Yuri naturally asked me about the call. I pretended to be completely fine with him in order to break the ice. Huh? Oh, yeah. 여기 오시는 거야? They're coming here. Yeah, but don't worry. We're probably just having dinner and they'll leave right after for the seminar. They won't come to the house. Sometimes they stop by the house when they come, but most times they're too busy, so we just see each other somewhere else. Pfft, wow. So they won't find out about my new family. I wasn't worrying about that. You just sounded a bit gloomy. Are you okay? What? Oh, he does care. The lights changed and the car started again. Yeah, it is pretty common with these um, kind of families, unfortunately. And I don't think uh, a lot of us were raised to be able to just hang up on our mom. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I heard your conversation a little bit. Uh, reputation and all that. Oh, you heard. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't really dress well. I had dinner with some pretty powerful people a couple times because of my dad, but they all love suits so much. <laughs> you, you don't need to hear the rest of it. I got scolded once for wearing jeans. Mom must have remembered that. It was a formal dinner, and I wore jeans and a t-shirt. No wonder she scolded me. Haven't you ever wanted pretty clothes or shoes? What? I looked at Yuri, but he was completely focused on driving. The mood wasn't as bad thanks to my mom's call, but Yuri still seemed a bit cold. Things are not working out today. Was there another Atome that did that? Anytime I think of butlers now, I think of that stupid game I was playing. 
God, that game. I haven't gone back to playing it on my free time just because I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Ugh. Like, I feel like I can tolerate a lot of stuff when it comes to Atome games, but that one just hit all of my wrong buttons. Yeah. Well, I do want cute and adorable things, but I never thought I wanted to wear them or buy them. What? Why? Well, I think it's because of what Grandpa said. Harabuchi? Grandpa? Yeah, every time Mom nagged me, he used to say this. That since I'm a girl, I'll start caring about how I look when I start liking someone. Hint, hint, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the hairpin Yuri gave me. And a pair of girly Mary Jane heels. Saying that while wearing all these was like telling him straightforward that I like him. I felt my face get red at the embarrassment. Ugh, what if Yuri figures it out? I glanced to my side. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yuri suddenly stopped the car. And then they crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad ending again. <laughs> I almost bit my tongue because of the sudden stop. I was startled and couldn't finish talking. Y Yuri? If you have someone you like, you start looking pretty. Huh? What? Yeri wasn't smiling. I thought you would get it, dude. How slow are you? Maybe... He looks... Oh, he's got a plastic brain. That's true. We have to give him some... A little bit of uh, leeway just because he's not human, technically. <laughs> <laughs> he looks angry. His face was stiff and his mouth was shut tight. I felt a bit flustered. Is he mad at what I just said? I don't know. I was basically telling him that I like him. But Yuri got mad at it, dude. Y Yuri. No, never mind. Forget it. Let's go. Yuri started the car again. He's not... Negative thoughts started to creep up in my head. This time, I really felt like crying. Ugh, this man! The D-Day finally came. Uh-oh. <laughs> Brain? Yes, the exams are today. I know what you're thinking, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> For once, it was not me who made the joke, you guys. <laughs> but regardless of the exams, I woke up early to get ready. Now, doing my hair and putting on makeup has become a part of my daily life. <laughs> uh, uh, you wanted to do Tay and Lance last time, correct? Yeah. Okay, and I'll do Yonho. You got up, Master. I made sandwiches for breakfast today. Okay. Why does it suddenly smell like something's dead in here? <laughs> wow, Yonho, you're a horrible cook, dude. <laughs> okay, thank you. D-Day isn't until, like, three dates later. Ooh, Justin. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen him in that since the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my honey. This reminds me of that scene from Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh gosh, I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, it's such a good movie. I, I used to see it all the time when I was little. But yeah, he sticks his face in, like, cake or something <laughs> to cover oh, up the fact that yeah. he was a man. So it was really funny. Hey. <laughs> 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 face. 
I love that face. I do too. I love when she shows personality like that. That's a good point, Louisa. The fact he knows how to drive is like, what the heck? Yuri walked out wearing his facial mask. He looks just like he always does. His bizarre behavior from a couple days ago was completely gone. I guess he was just really busy then. I think he was stressed out from writing the exams. I'm glad he's back to his usual self. But the fact that he didn't change at all was actually a bit upsetting. All that's changed is the way I look at Yuri. And Yuri still didn't say anything about my changed looks. But I still took time every day to dress up. When I walk into the classroom, Soy and Shinbei always tell me I'm getting prettier. Of course, Soy never fails to interrogate me to find out what my hidden motive is. I don't know if he's stealing Shinbei from me. <laughs> well, last time I was joking, I was like, you know what? I I want an OT3 with her and Soy and Shinbei. <laughs> yes. Good. I would love that so much. Tae, Yonho, and Red all noticed my change, but Yuri's the only one not saying anything. He still calls me my honey, but he doesn't touch me anymore. I thought he'd take interest in me more if I looked better. I was confused at his disappointing response. If I keep dressing up like this, will Yuri notice me one day? I was slowly getting tired of it all. Master, Master, are you hungry? Come here, eat this rotten food I made. <laughs> okay, Yuri, you're not eating? I'll be there as soon as I take this facial mask off. Hurry up and sit down. Okay. After Yuri left the kitchen, I sat at the table with Yonho. Oh, poor Red. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, I don't want to go to school. The air is so tense because of that exam thing. Damn. <laughs> All right, I'll tell the whole academy that Justice Warrior yielded to the enemy called exams. I'll add that you gave up very weakly. Ooh, blackmail. Why don't you simply quit the academy at this chance? <laughs> that won't do, Lance. Red should take the exam first. As a student, I'd be painfully jealous if he got to avoid them by himself. I consider it a waste of paper, but I see. It's not so bad to watch him suffer like that. Oh, stop, Lance. We know you love him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, Commander, I thought we were on the same side. This is a top 10 anime betrayal. We are, so I hope you fight the exams with me. Don't run away. Serial killer Tay. Oh, yeah. I don't mind the exams, but everyone stopped playing soccer saying they have to study. I hate that more. Yes, Smog did do that top anime betrayal that one time <laughs> when we were playing DVD. Red pouted and munched on his sandwich. Why is he about to cry? Yuri came and sat at the table. 
자, 여기 유리는 이거 드세요. Here, Yuri, have this. 유기농 채소 샌드위치. 어허, 메뉴 선정이 좋군. Thank you, 꼬맹이. Organic veggie sandwich. Nice breakfast choice. Thanks, kiddo. 아, 맞다. 핵귀신! 난 수학이 제일 걱정인데 많이 어렵게 나오네. Wait, mask ghost? <laughs> what the heck, Red? This is a new nickname. Oh, right. Mask ghost. I'm worried most about math. Is it going to be hard? 글쎄, 난 음악 담당이라 잘 모르겠는걸. 그리고 어차피 시험의 난이도는 너한테 상관없지 않겠어? Well, I teach music, so I don't know. Besides, I don't think the level of difficulty will matter much to you. He's probably gonna fail all of it. Why? Why is Red's level of difficulty no matter to him? Why? Why isn't that important to Red? Difficulty is first of all important to the level of ability. The difficulty level is important to people who actually have brains. Yuri kindly explained to Yonho, who widened his eyes. Kindly. He <laughs> just insulted me, right? Yuri knows how to talk sensibly sometimes. Lance and Yuri are the same person. 오늘 해가 서쪽에서 뜬거 아니야? <웃음> Yuri and Lance on the same side. The sun must have risen from the west day. Hey, you look relaxed. I know why. Because he can tell that things are not going well between her and Yuri. <sighs> I said to Tay with envy. Tay and Lance are so smart, I can barely believe they were dolls. Tay shrugged his shoulders. 나도 이번엔 준비를 많이 못했어. 카페 일 때문에 바빴거든. 일하면서 쉬는 시간에 틈틈이 본 정도라서 나도 걱정이다. 시험 망치면 어쩌지? <웃음> I didn't get to prepare much this time since I was busy with the cafe. I just skimmed through during break at work, so I'm worried. Oh, what if I mess it up? <웃음> Yeah, it's Tay, I saw you with a pile of notes when you were doing the laundry. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll do well. <laughs> You're totally gonna threaten the teachers, aren't you? Yes. There are always people like him who pretend not to study. Ah, I hate you. Yonoya, come on. Talk to me. You will soon get that. Thanks, Yonho. I think she hates me now, thanks to you. All part of my plan. Fucking time. This like just like twist his head around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like freaking exorcist Tay. <laughs> I can totally see it. <laughs> Doesn't even bat an eyelash, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? What? No, for some freaking reason, they had him as a student, even though he looks the same age as Yuri. It's ridiculous. Tay patted Yonho with some force. <laughs> Tay's hand squashed his fluffy hair. Then dropped down to his neck. <laughs> oh no. Hmm, where are my shoes? Oh, there they are. I looked around the shoe rack, found my shoes, and put them on. They were the shoes Yuri bought me. Are you really taking the bus? A few days ago, I told Yuri that I'd take the bus from now on. Lance takes it too because of his disciplined duties, so I just decided to take it. Ooh, her and Lance together. Now, Tay, Yonho, Red, and Yuri were the ones taking the limousine. 
Yuri complained about driving boys around, but he faithfully stuck to his driver duties. Yeah, I've been taking the bus these past couple of days, and no one calls me the maid anymore. It's actually better than you think. I'm upset I can't go to the academy with you. <laughs> you see me in class every day. That's not the only reason why people don't call you that. What? You haven't heard. Hmm? Tay glanced towards Yuri. Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh, uh. Yuri looked at him as if asking, what now? But Tay stopped staring. What did Yuri do? No, never mind if you don't know. What is it? Nothing. It's not important, so don't think about it. Now hurry and go. You said you're taking the bus. You'll be late. Huh? Okay. Tay pushed me out to the front door. Yuri totally did something. Yeah... What Tay said bothers me. There must be something only I don't know about. I should ask him again later. Okay. Exams finally started. He's gonna murder Yuri. <laughs> oh! I did hear we had to take a quiz, you guys. Oh. And I have to pass it. <laughs> Oh no. Well, wish uh. me luck, I guess. <laughs> Ray. Oh, wait, no. He calls him Commander. Uh, out of the dateable characters, the tallest one is Yuri. Yes. Wait, what? No, the stupid thing made me double click. Yonho can talk with animals. Yes? Yes. Uh. I said this. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know. I have no idea. No. Oh, damn close. You guys, you know. Yep. I think I got one wrong because I my freaking mouse double clicked. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. No. Wait, is that okay though? Do you have to pass it? I have to pass it. I just don't know if I have to get a perfect score or not. Oh shoot. And I didn't get to save beforehand. Oh no. Wait, do I have to get a perfect score? I'm scared. Like I wish I could redo this. <laughs> oh no. Here, I'll I'll quickly Google and double check. Okay. I don't know if I can read. I can't redo it anyway, because then we'd have to go through everything we just saw. Okay. Well, that's for. Re <laughs> it is pretty harsh. A B plus. Right, so. <laughs> so um. Like, I, I went to a thing that has, like, a walkthrough for all of them, and the only one that mentions a quiz is red, and it says, pass the quiz, n miss no more than one. Okay, so I only missed one, right? So I'm okay. Yeah. Whew. Thank goodness. <laughs> but that freaking math question, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lance's Diary 2 has discovered... I think we just unlocked something for Lance's route. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, why are we being snoopy? Poor Lance. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, let's save. Uh, wait, what? Uh, diary? Where? Um, that might be like in the extras on the title screen. Oh, maybe. 
I mean, maybe it's something I probably shouldn't look at anyway? Oh, I have messages I haven't seen. <laughs> the umbrella. I met Banjul with some friends. Hi, Ichigo, how are you? We just took a quiz that I luckily passed. <laughs> Hello, Ichigo. Uh, I have my friend Coco with me, by the way. Umbrella. Oh, this is all the umbrella stuff? Into the waiting room when you get... Okay, that's fine. Okay. I wonder how if everyone else rolled that, because they sure don't know these people. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're good, just tired and sore from cleaning today. I feel ya. Let's see what I'm capable of. I, I, I did well, considering. Wow, finally over. Regardless of the result, I'm going to have fun today. I've been pretty stressed out these days over the exams and everything else. I just want to relax today. I stretched my arms out and plopped down on the desk. Yeah! Hey, someone's here for you. Huh? Oh, that's right. The other thing you missed last, I think it was last stream, was Flower Boy, right? Uh, I, I guess. I don't know who you're referring to. Right. So last stream, out of nowhere, some random boy comes up to her. And right when we were going to go see um, Bone Daddy, and I was super excited because Pharaoh was here, and I was like, yeah, Pharaoh's going to get to see Bone Daddy. No, this random boy comes up, and he's like, here, take some strawberry milk. And she's like, uh, okay. who is this? <laughs> like, apparently he's like the next hottest guy after the hot five in the whole school. Oh. And he was like like all flirty with her and stuff and apparently his name is Flower Boy and we're all like what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's another little thing that happened that made me go like eh and so I told everybody that I was wondering if maybe like the sad thing that's going to happen is probably going to be that the our no matter who we're dating that they'll probably end up turning back into dolls at some point like towards the end and then um, maybe she'll end up with flower boy maybe because i was thinking maybe the whole point the whole purpose of yuri and them coming to life it was to like help her gain confidence and become more like happy in life because she was really sad and depressed and al alone you know huh that'd be an interesting route to take because yeah last stream a lot of it was just focusing on how different she seemed now that she was, you know, wearing makeup, wearing um, fancy clothes, and she was more happy and smiling because she realized she likes Yuri. So I felt like him bringing out that change in her was the whole purpose of them coming to life, maybe. But that's gotcha. just a game theory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back, Justin. Uh, when I left the back door, I saw a familiar face. Oh, you're... that day. It's Flower Boy, who disappeared after handing me a carton of strawberry milk, and we never get to see what he looks like. Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. How were the exams? Huh? Oh, just... 난 이번에 하나도 집중을 못해서 망했어. I messed up because I couldn't focus at all today. But if we do end up with him, I'm gonna feel a little salty because, first of all, his name is weird, but maybe translation, <laughs> whatever. But also because we should at least know what he looks like, you know? Yeah. 아 맞다. 이거 받아. Oh right. Uh, take this. He gave me a kind smile and held out what he was hiding behind his back. It was a pink box with a yellow ribbon. Oh? What... what is this? Take it. You'll see when you open it. Oh, wait. 
flower boy forced the box into my hand. It was just like when I first got the strawberry milk. My heart's in it, so think about it carefully. Then I'll be waiting. Watch me open it and his heart's actually in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy crap! The boy gave me a sweet smile and ran away. Uh -oh. uh, this situation is... It's that! Uh, right, Chimpy? Yeah. The maid's transformation is scary. I feel like I'm watching a soap opera. Mm, I know, girl. So I exaggerated and said, What situation is this? Huh? You don't understand? Well, I guess you won't, since you just transformed from a maid to Miss Popular. What? Mmm, Shinbei. Mmm, hello. Shinbei. Open that box. There will be a message in there. Message? I opened the box at what Shinbei said. The box was full of candies of all color. Oh. And in the middle was a letter, just as Shinbi had said. <laughs> Is that candy? That's cute. If you read it, you'll understand what's happening. Hi! You must have been surprised at this box. You probably won't know me, but from a long time ago, I've... O-M-G! <laughs> uh, th this is... a love letter. Like the ones I used to see on TV. I quietly read the whole letter. And my gaze stopped at the last sentence of the letter. Will you be my girlfriend? X or O. <laughs> Probably. Oh man, this brings back flashbacks to uh, elementary school. Seeing your face, I see it's a love letter. How is it? Um, yeah, but why does he like me? Soy squinted her eyes. What kind of stupid question is that? A person doesn't like someone because of a specific reason. What do I do? This never happened to me. I don't know what to do. It's the first time someone said he likes me. What do you mean, what do I do? Do what your heart says. It says that I want to be a threesome with you too. <laughs> I'm in! She's like, I'm in too. <laughs> Shinbi agreed with Soy. See? <laughs> Think carefully and give him an answer. That's all you can do for him. I nodded at Shinbi's sincere advice. Anyways, you're doing pretty well. He's one of the few gems I've caught dibs on in this academy. <laughs> I have Tay now, so I don't care. But if it weren't for him, I'd have become your rival. Girl, Tay ain't a good choice either. <laughs> he cooks. Oh, okay, that's a good point. <laughs> And he also murders for me. Oh, that's a good point, too. R rival No way! I think you have a new nickname. 
a new nickname. People call you the Swan Princess. What? The housekeeping lady kept getting prettier and one day turned into a beauty. The ugly duckling has become the swan. That's what they mean. Okay, first of all, rude. <laughs> Very rude. But, okay. Be beauty. <laughs> You've gotten really pretty lately. Look at you! You're glowing! Hey, what did you do? Plastic surgery? Some kind of procedure? Tell me! Nah, girl, I'm all natural. What do you mean, surgery? I'm still young. All I've done recently is drink a lot of water, just as someone on TV advised. And I went to bed early. Well, I guess I did more than that. My daily schedule has changed a bit. My day does now go around taking care of my looks. Anyhow, since the hottest freshman flower boy has asked you out, People will talk about this for a while. Don't say that. You'll become famous over the whole academy over this. If anything gets tough, tell me. It's scary how fast rumors spread around. Shouldn't be looked at me with worry. Oh, she's such a bay. Welcome back, Louisa. Welcome back. We just got confessed to by Flower Boy. He uh, asked her out with a love letter. <laughs> I felt a bit scared at her foreboding words. I think I've gone through enough rumors. Am I seriously jinxed or something? I feel as if my spirit is being sucked out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, heroine, you here? Red made a fuss and came running in the house. Oh, Red, did you just get here? Uh -oh. oh no, they all know! <laughs> no, they never show F Flower Boy's face, unfortunately. I heard someone asked you to be his girlfriend. Is it true? Who is it? Let me kill him! Like, oh, red. Wow. Oh, look, Flower Boy's there in the background. The uh, refrigerator with the flowers on it. <laughs> He's been here all this time! He's been blending in! Red came home late for dinner and made a fuss as soon as he came in. I was kicking in the cooking in the kitchen, but he dragged me out. Thanks to that, Yonho and Tae, who were helping me make dinner, came out to the living room, too. On the living room sofa, Lance was quietly reading his book in his own little world, ignoring all the noise. Hey, did you guys hear the rumor about this kid? But wait, how could you wear your shoes into the house? Oh, right. Tay was being the mom again. Red realized it then, took off his shoes, and threw them to the front door. <laughs> Anyways, what happened today? I was so surprised when a freshman told me today. What was it? S Swan? I heard the freshman swan was asked out by a flower boy or something. <laughs> I wondered who it was about when I first heard it. But when I heard more of it, I realized it was you. Do you know how surprised I was? Hey, you guys knew? 
Nyon Ho calmly replied to Ren, who was making a huge fuss. Ren, I'm a big fan. I don't think I'm a big fan of that. Yes, I'm in her class. The class was a bit noisy because of that. Everyone must be really bored. People should use our time to do something productive rather than talking about others. So nobody except him is jealous? Okay. Yeah, Umbal Chestingi! No crooked name is from Mare to Tenungoya! Karun Yosukani go! Paru Hiro in a year ago! Hey, you douchey silverhead. How can you talk about it as if it's about some stranger? It's about the heroine. 본인이 바로 옆에 있으니 일단 진정하는 게 좋지 않을까? Would it be best to calm down first since she's uh, right there in front of you? <laughs> Maybe talk to her. <laughs> I never intended to become the center of everyone's attention, but I've already decided. The person I like. 그래서 어떻게 된 거야? 설마 사귀기로 한 거야? So what happened? Are you his girlfriend? Huh? I was spacing out, but Red urged for an answer. 고백 받았다며? He asked you out, even though you have us. It happened so fast. The flower boy told me to give him an answer later. 자신 만만한 놈이군. He's pretty cocky. Red suddenly fumed. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ugh, I'm mad. How dare he ask the heroine to be his girlfriend so confidently? Maybe some villains behind this. Commander, I should go and meet that boy. Yeah, you go get him. Why did you meet that person? It's a matter of the relationship. Let's take care of the people. Why do you want to meet him? It's between a man and a woman. Let them decide what to do. Ugh, that douchey silverhead. Are you okay with this? What does that have anything to do with me? I am completely fine. Is being asked out a big deal? Lance looked at Red as if he was saying ridiculous things. Lance, of course being asked out is a big deal. I guess things are definitely different for someone popular. He probably gets asked out all the time. Yep. Red, I don't think it's anything to get that worried about. I barely calmed him down. You guys are the ones who get asked out and get gifts from girls all the time. <laughs> oh my god, Red. <laughs> Doesn't that just mean let's play? Well, yes, this is a let's play. <laughs> Binks, will you let's play with me? Ooh, I would love to let's play with you. Yay! You heard it, guys. Coco and I are let's playing together. <laughs> of course I think that girl who asked you to play soccer with her meant it. Oh, he meant actual soccer. <laughs> Girls don't usually bring chocolate or letters and ask you to play soccer. What? That's a... Girls don't usually bring chocolate or letters and ask you to play soccer with you, do they? I think that that should have been ask them, play with them. Yeah. At Tay's words, Lance gave his scorning look, and Red still had a big question mark on his face. God, I used to play soccer a lot when I was little. I see, so that's what happened. My phone in the living room table rang. I hurried and picked it up. Hello? Dad? Honey? Mom? 어디니? 지금 아빠랑 공항 근처 호텔에 와 있단다. 
Where are you? Your father and I are at the hotel right by the airport. Oh, she forgot. Huh? You're here already? I thought you were coming next week. Oh. I was surprised at the unexpected call. But Mom only thought about herself, as always, and didn't seem to care about my reaction. She just calmly explained the changed schedule. <laughs> no, thanks. The schedule changed a bit, so we had to. Do you remember what I told you last week? Can you come out now? Right, right now? Right now? I feel flustered. Besides, I was supposed to prepare dinner today, so I was cooking. 그래, 일정에 조금 차질이 생겨서 여기에 반나절밖에 있지 못할 것 같구나. 지금 집이지? 그리로 차를 보낼 테니 타고 오렴. Yes, and we can't stay here for more than an afternoon. You're home right now, right? I'll send the car over, so take that and come here. Wow. Oh, um, Mom, I... I look at the family in my living room. Everyone was standing there quietly, listening in on my call. Why? Do you have something else? My parents made time out of their busy schedule for me, so I couldn't just refuse. I can't not see them when they've come all this way. I nodded, although she wouldn't be able to see. Okay, all right. Send the car over. I'll be right there. 그래, 그럼 준비하고 있어. 이따 보자. Okay, then get ready. I'll see you soon. Okay. Well, the mom will be pleased when she sees how different she looks. As soon as the call ended, everyone's eyes sparkled as if to ask me for an explanation. I laid down my phone and opened my mouth. I'm sorry, but I have to go somewhere right now. Can you guys prepare dinner yourselves? 네, 물론이죠. Master, 저희는 걱정 말고 다녀오세요. Yes, of course. Master, don't worry about us and go ahead. 고모님이요? Your parents. Tay asked. Yeah, they're both here right now. They don't have much time, so I'm supposed to see them at the airport. I have to start getting ready. I remember what she asked of me. She told me to dress up. If I don't, I think they'll be upset. 그래, 조심히 다녀와. 늦었으니까 밤길 조심해. Okay, then be careful. It's late, so watch out. Yeah. Oh, Red. Oh? Huh? Yeah? The thing that happened today, it's really nothing. I was going to refuse anyways. 정말이야? Really? Yeah. I've never been asked to be someone's girlfriend before, so I was just startled. But I knew I'd refuse him from the first moment. Uh, <laughs> Aw, he's so relieved. Okay, so you guys know I'm always going to be comparing this to Mystic Messenger because it's the same creators and all that. So, in Mystic Messenger, I won't give like spoilers or anything. But there's a character who is considered the true route, because a lot of Otome games do that, right? And I haven't gone to his route yet, but I do know for a fact that no matter whose route you're on, there's always going to be hints that he has feelings for you. And it's always like tempting me because I, I really f like him a lot. But because I'm on someone specific's route, I'm like, okay, I have to kind of ignore it and not interact with him as much as I'd like to. And I feel like right now, having Red be so jealous just felt like, okay, Red is definitely probably going to be the true route for this game. And I hope I'm right, because I love him so much. Isn't he... Didn't you say that he's locked? Yes, it's him and Tay who are locked. And it's like that for Mystic Messenger too. that there's two guys who are locked... And the one I haven't done yet is the true route. And he, he's one of the locked characters, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think you might be right in that. And if I am, I'm happy. I get my red in the end. <laughs> really? I was surprised for nothing. <laughs> 
Red seemed to feel happy again and laughed out loud. He's so simple. <coughs> then I'll go get ready. I'm going to eat outside, so you guys eat first without me. Yonho is the true route, huh? <laughs> Yonho told me to just trust him. I smiled at his words and went into my room. A few moments later, I went to the front door, all dressed up. Let's see, what do I put on? Oh, this will be good. I take out the heels Yuri gave me. Speaking of Yuri, this is probably him, right? <laughs> hmm. Oh, never mind, it was Lance, okay. I was about to leave the house when Lance approached me. He seems to have something to say. Lance looked at me for a while without saying anything. No, to be more exact, he was looking at my heels. I've been meaning to ask you. Those heels, aren't they uncomfortable? Aw, you're so observant. Huh? They look very uncomfortable to me. Really? But everyone says they're pretty. I did not ask whether or not they are pretty. I asked if they are uncomfortable. Aw, Lance is going to be such a good boyfriend when we get to him. They are uncomfortable, but I have no choice if I want to look good. I just hope you're not the one who ends up getting hurt. What? Yeah, ominous. <laughs> mm -hmm. My heart ached at what Lance said. And then I was reminded of someone. Why am I thinking of Yuri? You have Lance right in front of you! <laughs> Girl. Lance looked at my heels again and then stared at me. Call me if something happens. Yes, Louisa. Coco and I are like, yes, we are waiting for Lance. <laughs> Lance left those last words and went back to his room. What was Lance trying to say to me? I couldn't forget mm -hmm. what he said about the one who ends up getting hurt. Maybe. I think he, like, realizes that he's sort of doing this for Yuri. Yeah. Oh my god, are you really our daughter? Long time no see, mom and dad. Oh yeah, you know he has a stick up his butt. <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my yaoi shipping is always there. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something so inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> say it. <laughs> I'll, uh, no, I'll, I'll tell you afterwards. That one might be a bit more. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're all grown up. Oh, <laughs> I know. Honey, what's gotten into you? I can't believe you've changed this much. I'm not sure if you really are our daughter. They were full of smiles. I guess all the effort was worth it. This looks nice. Let's see. Oh, it's a high fashion brand. Dress like this from now on. It would have been nice if you dressed like this before. Don't you think so, honey? Then send me more money, witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you look so much better. Just tell me if you need more money in the future. Do it. Give me money. Uh, 
<웃음> All right. 아이코 박사님 따님이신가 보죠? 정말 미인이네요. Oh well, Professor, this must be your daughter. She's very pretty. Oh no. 아, 이 박사님. 자 인사해. 아빠와 같은 연구소에 계시는 분이란다. Oh, Professor Lee. Here. He works at the same research lab. Nice to meet you. Probably a grown ass man. Yeah. 예, 안녕하세요. 그동안 박사님이 따님 이야기를 잘안 하셔서 누군가 궁금했는데 이렇게 미인이라서 그동안 안 보여주신 거구나. <웃음> Creepy pedophile, stay away. <웃음> nice to meet you. He didn't talk about you very often, so I was wondering who you were. Who knew you'd be this pretty? <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Want to be Bone Daddy? I wish. Bone Daddy, where you at? They should just have him in the background there with Beatrice. Yes, they're out on a date. You must be so happy to have such a lovely daughter. You'll be in tears when you marry her off. <laughs> I know, he's so crazy about our daughter. He still worries about her when we go abroad. He certainly seems that way. Mom and Dad smiled brightly. I smiled too, even though I was creeped out. I do love my parents, but we aren't exactly friendly and close like the families from TV. We are a normal family, both interested and uninterested towards one another. But at this moment, I think we look like the friendliest family on earth. The daughter everyone admires and wants. Is it because I'm pretending to be that kind of daughter? And in order to be that daughter, I have to dress up like this. Prick, prick. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my heels hurt. I was like, <laughs> was she calling him a prick? What? <laughs> And for some reason, I felt my heart hurt too. Like that, our first dinner in a year and six months ended smoothly. Oh my god, they've been Yikes. gone that long? Wow. That's horrible. Mom was happy with how I've changed, and Dad proudly talked about me. We did talk about Grandpa a bit, but mom and dad looked like they didn't want to talk about him. The other professor went back when dinner was over, and at the end, it was just the three of us left. What was that? Oh yeah, it does that from time to time, and I don't know what those letters mean. Huh. Why don't you stay at the hotel since you've come all this way? No, I don't want to interfere when you guys are resting. Besides, you said you had to leave early in the morning tomorrow. <sighs> yes, I'm so happy to see you change like this. It's nothing. I was very worried after Grandpa passed away, but I'm so proud that you are growing into this beautiful lady. The sacrifice was not in vain. Oh my god. I guess since Grandpa isn't here anymore, you care more about what others think. Ugh. What? Grandpa always told you not to care about what others think. I didn't really like that. Wow. Mom said as if she felt relieved. What a witch. Wow. <laughs> sure enough, Mom hasn't changed at all. I can't stand her talking about Grandpa like that. Yeah, that makes me sick. I no longer wanted to stand there at the last thing she said. I'll get going. Ooh, her eyes changed too. I like it. 
Mm-hmm. Honey? Something squirmed in my mind at her suddenly talking about Grandpa. It's not because Grandpa died that I dress up like this. I don't care about what others think. I like being myself. Comfortable dress, jeans, and sneakers. That's who I am. The way I look right now is so far from that. I wanted to go back. To the way I was before, and to my home. I'll go now. Don't come out. I bowed to my parents. Ooh. My parents lost words at my suddenly changed attitude. I can just call for a cab at the lobby. I hurried out. My heels kept on hurting. Please be there, Yuri. Please. I, I need some progress with your romance, because right now it's pretty dead. Yeah. And well, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's part of the point. Maybe she has changed so much that he isn't seeing the person he fell in love with, and that's why he's conflicted. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'll be right back. Hold on. How long do you think we have? Uh, not too long. Why? Think you're quite ready when you're finished. When I'm done, yeah. Okay. Around eight. That was a good theory, though. It hurts. Thank you. I got off the cab and headed home. The night sky was already twinkling with stars. My feet hurt more as time passed. My feet, my heart, they all hurt. The clicking of my heels rang through the quiet night sky. While hearing that, I was swept away by an impulse to just take them off and throw them away. But I didn't head straight home and headed towards the road. That's not a good idea. I felt like I needed to just watch people pass by and gather my feelings. If I go home right now, I'll only get more upset. I didn't even see a street cat here. I was completely alone in this night street cold wind blew at my face. <sighs> I walked a bit and sat on a bench I barely found. I massaged my feet to ease the pain. I occasionally heard the wind blow and cars swish by, and sometimes I heard small footsteps. I felt myself calm down listening to all these sounds. After sitting there for God knows how long, I thought I should head back. I was about to stand up from the bench. Yogi Sunboy. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Yuri? I was surprised at the sudden voice and raised my head. It was a familiar face. Yuri? What is Yuri doing here? Yuri stood in front of me and asked. Yogi Sunboy, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And dressed up like that. Yuri frowned. It's that face again. As if he doesn't like what he's seeing. I've seen that face before, and I felt hurt again. Oh, my parents came, so I saw them at the airport. I was on my way back. But why are you sitting here by the road? And what are you doing, wandering around at night? He usually takes his limo, so he has no reason to walk like this. I raised my head to look at him. He hesitated at my question, but soon answered. I was walking home from the academy. Dressed like that? What? What happened to the car? It'd take at least 40 minutes to walk. He doesn't like to be bothered. It was so unlike him. 
The car is at the academy. What's gotten into you? 그러는 넌 돌아왔으면 집에 바로 들어가지 않고 여기서 뭐 하는 거지? What about you? Why are you doing? What are you doing here? And not heading straight home. 요즘 세상이 얼마나 흉흉한데 이런데 혼자 있는 건지. The streets are pretty dangerous these days. You can't sit here by yourself like this. The house is right there. No one's going to kidnap me away. Girl, that's still risky. <sighs> Wait. Hmm. Yuri crouched down on his knee in front of me. And he took my foot and put it on his lap. Y Yuri! Hold still. Your feet hurt right now, right? Yuri took off my heels and looked around my feet. And he found the scratch that was tormenting me from earlier on. Hmm. That's the scratch is pretty bad. It must have hurt a lot. This isn't just from today, is it? 이 상태인데 왜 이걸 신고 나왔어? 편한 걸로 신고 나오지. Why did you wear this today? You should have put on something more comfortable. Here he took out a band-aid from his jacket and put it on my scratch. Oh, he carries that around? That's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put this on for now, but when you get home, make sure to clean it. You can't get scars, all right? And then he grumbled with worry about whether my other foot is okay. But he had his back to the moonlight, and I couldn't see his face. We were definitely looking at each other, but... I couldn't distinguish his face or his thoughts. It seemed to show the distance between us. I felt upset. He doesn't even know who I'm wearing these heels for. He doesn't even know why I endured the pain. I became more upset. I felt like crying again. No, I don't like this. That's why. What? You bought these for me. So I'll wear them, even if it hurts. For me. Yes, for me. They're my special glass slippers. I don't care how Yuri responds. I decided to be honest with my feelings. Oh, you better not screw this up, Yuri. <laughs> The car passed by and lit Yuri's face for a moment, but soon disappeared. I couldn't understand his expression. I don't know if he didn't feel good or if he was flustered. Girl, he was blushing, wasn't he? Heavy silence flowed between us for a moment. And finally, Yuri opened his mouth. If you wear glass slippers every day, even the strongest Cinderella won't be able to endure it. Yuri told me with worry. At his words and at his face, I felt more confused. Now is not the time for poetry. Is he worrying because he likes me too? Or because I live with him? Or because he's a teacher? Silence flowed again. I opened my mouth first this time. I decided to gather up the courage. You know, Yuri. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Should I make him jealous or should I just be upfront and be like, bro, don't you have something to say to me? Mm -hmm. Save. I feel like. I don't know if making him jealous is the right thing to do, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just be upfront. 
Don't you have anything to say to me? Hi, Mai. Anything to say? Yuri looked at me as if he didn't know what I meant. Don't you have anything to say at how I look today? Yuri looked at me for a moment. At that moment, he looked like he had so much to say. But he soon erased that face. No! Stop it! Well, yeah, all right. Are you used to it? Here he looked at my heels and asked, Dude, now is not the time. <laughs> what? Oh. Yuri was just looking at my shoes, not my face. I couldn't control myself as I reached out both my hands to grab his face and strangle him and turn it towards me. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look today? Do I look pretty? Do I have to freaking ask you up front? Oh my god. Yuri gave me an awkward smile. And he gently put away my hands. <laughs> <laughs> my honey is brave today. Then, of course. My honey has been chosen by the gods like me. Of course you're pretty. He was playful as always. He gave me a light-hearted smile afterwards. And my heart sank deeper to see that. I didn't want to hear that. I took back my hands and gathered them on my lap. And I told him what happened today. I got candies today from some boy. Oh, well, this is one of those choices where, due to plot, yeah. we're going to make him jealous anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of hate that, but whatever. Yeah. I'll only be interested if I say this. For me, like, the most infuriating example of that wasn't the first on Gun Run, but when you couldn't tell Kyoko about Sakura. Oh, right. Very true. Will he care? Even for a little bit? My hands sweated. And I heard Yuri's indifferent voice again. Ugh. Dude, you're ruining it! I can't defend you anymore! Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I heard. Some students were saying. I heard from the freshman girls. I heard he's a pretty nice guy. Unless we're going with the storyline that he's pushing her away because he realized he's a doll. So he can't offer her what a human boy can do. Ugh, I've seen that happen in Atome's too. Yeah. I never really cared much for that. Just let the person make their choice. Yeah. My eyes were definitely not wrong. See? I told you you're cute enough. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My honey is in trouble now, since boys around you won't leave you alone. Is that all? What? Is that all you have to say? Yuri didn't say anything for a while. Oh, maybe I... You know what? Maybe I screwed up, guys. Maybe we're on the route for a bad ending because I screwed up somewhere. Hmm. That's another possibility. Because sometimes in these games, you have, like, bad endings, and then you have bad romance endings. And this could be a bad romance ending, where I didn't win enough affection from him or whatever, you know? Hmm. <sighs> it's possible. If that's the case, I apologize. My bad. But he soon gave a lonely smile. 축하해, 제투성이 아가씨. 이제 진짜 신데렐라가 되었구나. Congratulations, Miss Maid. 
You've really become Cinderella. 그래서 어쩔 거야? 사귀기로 했어? So, what are you going to do? Did you say yes? Yuri tried to stroke my hair. I shook off his hand and stood up from the bench. Mm -hmm. I'll go first. I forced the heels onto my feet. The moment they entered the heels, I felt the pain. My feet hurt every time I took a step. But I clenched my teeth and walked straight home, trying my best not to falter. I'm stupid. I was never smart, but now I'm the stupidest person on earth. My heart pounded as soon as I opened my eyes in the morning. I only thought about how Yuri would look at me. So every day I woke up early to dress up. People saw me slowly changing and complimented me on how I was getting prettier. But none of that was important. I didn't care about what other people thought. I only wanted to look pretty for Yuri. I wanted him to say that I looked pretty. It wasn't something I wanted him to say as if humoring a little child. My hopes were completely crushed. Ah, uh, no, I was hoping for laughs in this stream, but all I'm getting is feels. <laughs> all my effort until now has gone to waste. The time, the effort, and the heart I poured into it was all pointless now. In the end, I was the same. I was no different from all the girls around Yuri. I felt pathetic for thinking I might be the special one. Why did I think that? I'm going to stop now. I don't want to feel hurt or keep back the tears like this. I wipe my face with my sleeves in front of the door. No more. Yuri doesn't like me. But... <sighs> it's more upsetting than that is. The real realization that I like Yuri more than I thought I did. I'm sorry for your taste. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 여기 있었군. You were here. Tay, did you blackmail Yuri or something? I'm uh, super suspicious right so. now. Well, I guess we'll see. Hmm. 여긴 어쩐 일이야? What are you doing here? 그냥 바람 좀 쐬러. Just to get some air. Mm-hmm. 라는 건 당연히 핑계고 널 찾으러 왔어. 근처에 있을 거라는 확신이 들었거든. That's obviously an excuse. I came to look for you. I knew you were around. 그 녀석, 눈가가 빨갛게 부어있는 채로 돌아왔더군. She came into the house with her eyes all puffed up. Thankfully, everyone else was sleeping, so they didn't see. 오너에게 무슨 일이 있었던 걸까? 아무 말도 하지 않으니까 더 걱정이 돼. What do you think happened to the owner? He doesn't say anything, so I'm more worried. 나한테 뭘 말하고 싶은 거야? Is there something you want to say to me? Then just get straight to the point. 본론이라. 그거 좋지. 그래, 잘 들어. 이 녀석이 밖에서 뭘 하고 돌아다니는지는 난 관심 없어. 하지만. To the point. That's nice. All right, listen up. I don't care about what you do outside, but... 하지만, 이 이상 오너를 울린다면 절대로 용서하지 않아. 무슨 일이 있어도 이 녀석과 오너를 떼어놓고 말겠어. But if you ever make the owner cry one more time, I'll never forgive you. 
Whatever happens, I'll keep her away from you. Ooh. So watch out. I'm warning you. Ooh. Ni ne sake kron olgul la ngon napunil koda. I jung jung yasa. We were right. Yeah, we were. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who knows you're like this, you two-face. But I deserve to hear that. I... <sighs> I'm so pathetic. Dude, here I was willing to give you the doubt that maybe he blackmailed you into this, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is this? Beatrice. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> that would be hilarious, right? <laughs> okay, this is a voice I've never heard before. Interesting. This is fun. <sighs> is it that sad? Now so, stop crying, and come to me, come into my arms. Ooh, my bony white arms. <laughs> Dang, Beatrice. Oh. See, I'm not sure if we're getting a bad en ending or not. I'm confused. Goodbye, my first love. So this is part of the storyline? I guess so. Okay, and here I thought I was getting a bad ending. Oh, no problem, Ichigo. But yeah, we saw a glimpse into uh, Tay's real self. We can keep going a, a little bit until I have to go. Okay. 806 Blogger, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright today. Uh, I'm joined by my friend Coco, so you will hear two voices, Binks and Coco. Hello. Oh, you're a friend of Poker Girl. Okay. Nice. Wow. Yesterday, I came back to my room, buried my face in the pillow, and cried silently. The more I tried not to cry, the more the tears escaped my eyes. And this morning, I was left with the results. Right in my eyes. They're so swollen. Basically telling everyone I cried myself to sleep yesterday night. I massaged my eyelids with my fingers, but the swelling didn't seem to go away. I'm doomed. Master, you don't have to Master, are you awake? Yonho opened the door and came in. Oh, um, hey, Yonho. I hid my swollen eyes and said good morning to Yonho. Ugh, how do I explain my face right now? I couldn't think up an excuse. I pondered, awkwardly covering my eyes. I cooked all the things you like this morning. Wash and hurry out. <laughs> uh, oh, um, okay. I'll be out soon. Yeonho closed the door and left. He didn't say much. Hmm, did he not see my face? I hurriedly got ready and went to the living room. They looked a bit better after I took a shower, but they were still swollen. I lowered my head as much as I can and sat at the table. Hey, good morning. Y yeah. You must be hungry. Here. This. Tay gave me a plate full of food. Nothing like food to comfort a broken heart. Thanks. Hey, sign. You must have just woken up, huh? Hello, sign. 
Yeah, we're going for about 20 more minutes and then the stream will be over. Wow, it's a feast today. Hey, try this. Yellow made this especially for you, so eat up. Uh, what was that? Let me see. Oh! 806 Blogger, thank you for the follow! I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for following. Huh? Oh, thanks. And yes, Sign, I have Coco with me today. Hello. I was anticipating a lot of laughter, but we ended up getting so many feels today. <laughs> yeah, it was a downer episode. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. On the plate, red handed me was a rabbit shaped fried egg. Ta, ollun, ollun. Here, hurry, hurry. You have to eat this and blow him away with a single punch, like one punch man. Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> they all know. How did they all know? <laughs> I must have told them. Yeah. What do you mean, what? That jerk Yuri, ow! Red suddenly disappeared under the table. <laughs> Did somebody just like yank him under the table? <laughs> Lance, eyebrow waggle. Ooh, bow chicka wow wow. No. <laughs> He's probably choking him under there. <laughs> it's poor play. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It was due to Lance kicking him in the shin. <laughs> you sure it was the shin? <laughs> Breakfast should not be loud. Stop talking rubbish and focus on your food. Ouch! You jerk! I was trying to liven up the mood. The mood would be livened up if you stay still. Of course, it would be better if you simply disappear at this spot. <laughs> Dude, Red, when will you learn? What? <laughs> Why would I disappear? You're the one who should disappear. You and Yuri should just. Ow! I need a. I'm beyond dead. <laughs> Tay, oh, what did sorry. You do? <laughs> sorry, Red. My hand slipped. Completely by accident. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Commander! I think you just threw that pot lid on my head on purpose! Ultimate betrayal again. Hmm. Red looked like he was about to cry. He looked troubled since he couldn't cover both his shin and his head at the same time. <laughs> Tay gave him a sweet smile. <laughs> well, you're wrong. Anyways. Everyone eat up. We have to hurry. We'll miss the bus. The bus? How about... Yeri's limo? Ah, ah. Oh, um, we're all taking the bus together. I want to go with Master. Yeonho grinned and said, Come to think of it, I don't see Yuri. Did you guys kill him? <laughs> You're eating, eating him. him. <laughs> he left early, saying he had some work to do. Oh, they're all in on it. Oh my god. Yep. I I think he has a lot of work these days. <laughs> 
Yon Ho forced a big laugh. What is this? I feel as if everyone's caring for me this morning. Am I wrong? Then see you guys soon. It'd be nice for you to go with us. Nah, I might really get trampled if I take the bus with you guys. Be careful. Don't fall like yesterday. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. Tay gave me an inscrutable smile and saw me off. Tay saw me when I came home crying my eyes out. When Tay asked me why I was sobbing, I just told him I tripped and it hurt. Look, if anyone, any jerk, troubles you, then just tell me. I'll get revenge on them right away. Okay. Thanks, Red. I see you at the classroom. He looks so, like, tired of Red. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Master, 억지로 웃으시는 거 보니 마음이 아파요. I feel bad to see Master force a smile. 총사령관, 정말 이걸로 괜찮은 거야? 대체 무슨 일이야? 히로인이랑 유리가 싸울 일이 뭐가 있는 건데? Commander, is this really okay? What's going on? Why would the Hiroin and Yuri ever fight? 됐어. 두 사람의 일이니까 우리가 끼어들 순 없지. 그냥 우리는 옆에서 덜 힘들도록 기운을 북돋아 줄 수밖에. It's their business, so we shouldn't butt in. All we can do is cheer her up so she doesn't feel as bad. 뭔지는 모르지만 하루 빨리 해결이 되면 좋겠군요. 어수선한 분위기는 피하고 싶습니다. I do not know what it is, but I hope it is solved quickly. I do not want an elephant in the room. 네. 분위기가 많이 우울해요. 하루 빨리 마스터가 다시 진심으로 활짝 웃어 주시면 좋겠어요. Yeah, the atmosphere is really gloomy. I hope Master can give us a real smile soon. Hmm. 곧 그렇게 될 거야. Yeah, she will soon. I'll carve it into her. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Why is this desk here? Disappear right now! Soy, calm down, honey. No! <laughs> you do soy a little too well. <laughs> as soon as I opened the door, I saw Soy getting angry at a desk. What's up with her? She's stressed out because of the festival. Oh! After venting out her anger to the desk, Soy approached us. Soy, how are you? You must be really stressed out. Hey, I'm fine with the stress. I've been going to group sessions to relieve my stress. Group sessions? <laughs> Soy, what the heck? Group sessions to get mad at the Mayans for failing to predict the end of the world. <laughs> there are so many types of people in this world, and Soy is just one of the weird ones. Oh, the great ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right! Did you guys hear? What? Mr. Yuri is playing the drums at tomorrow's festival! I did hear about it, but it'll be the first time I actually get to see, so I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm gonna take lots of pictures! Oh my god, she has the heart eyes. <laughs> 
You're the festival conductor. Will you have time to see that? I'll just play hooky. And what if an accident happens? Well, then they can just take care of it themselves. Life is a continuation of accidents anyway. Wow, Zoe. She was weirdly convincing. Anyways, Yuri is playing the drums at the festival. I remember the concert I saw before. That day, I was so touched at how great the show was. And at the same time, it was the day I realized my feelings for Yuri. My heart still aches to think about him. I'll need more time to forget Yuri. Hmm? The class suddenly got noisy. I heard the stir- uh, I hear the students stirring. Lance and Yonho weren't in the classroom. The class would never stir without those two, so it was weird. Uh huh. He's. I followed Soy's fingers and looked at the back door. It's Flower Boy. Uh oh. Also, <laughs> come <laughs> Bye, Lee. Go ahead. Hurry. Soy pushed my back. Huh? W wait. So I pushed me toward the back door. Annyeong. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, sign, you don't know Flower Boy? Uh, I thought you saw the last stream. Ginja <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you not to get nervous. Uh, don't worry, I'm not here for an answer. What? Do you have any plans for the festival tomorrow? If you don't, can you spend some time with me? Well... Now she doesn't have a reason to say no, I guess, unless she's just not ready. Huh? I feel like maybe she's going to try and use him as a way to get past her feelings. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I always feel bad for the person being used, but I understand why she would yeah. think of doing that. Huh? I. I... <laughs> I'm not asking you for to be with me the whole day. Um, how about at three o'clock? Um, uh. Ooh. What should I say? Oh no. Yee. <laughs> uh, I don't. I... I don't feel like I think we him should on. say sorry I'm busy because yeah exactly yeah so you agree okay. yeah sorry I already have I won't take too much of your time please man you thirsty <laughs> Boy suddenly took my hand. Uh, um, uh. There's something I really want to tell you tomorrow, and something I want to hear from you. So please. Okay, Hiren told us he likes us and asked us out, so what the heck? felt weak after seeing his sincere eyes. I told him no, but watch us end up with him anyway. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess if I'm with him, I might be able to get rid of my feelings for Yuri. No! <laughs> Game, why you do this to me? I 
hesitated, but soon nodded. All right, see you then. <laughs> really? Awesome! Thanks. Then see you tomorrow. I'll be waiting. Oh boy. The boy gave me a sweet smile and disappeared. I went into the classroom and found Soy and Shinbi clinging onto the door. <laughs> Aww. Even Shinbi, like, wow. What are you doing? Her friend, she's watching out for her. Spying! Eavesdropping! <sighs> she's honest, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot happened today, sign, but basically, Yuri broke her heart. It was pretty rough. I passed them and sat at my desk. Soy mumbled and came towards me. He looks like a sweet prince kind of guy, but he's actually pretty bold. Hmm. Huh. I feel like I just lost something precious. Aw, Soy, you and Shinbi should have teamed up on her. OT3! Hey, what about Tay? <laughs> no, OT3 is the solution. That's why I'm not doing anything. Why am I not two people? I wish I could split into two people and date them both. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Then I could date myself. <laughs> I think you should first date at least one person. Maybe the one standing right next to you. Hmm. So what are you going to do? He seems pretty determined. Did you decide yet? Well... I've just moved on from Yuri. No. I've just decided to move on from Yuri. Being liked or liking someone right now sounds too tough right now. But the bright smile I saw from the boy earlier bothers me. His innocent, bright smile was telling me he's sincere. He looked like he meant it. And that was what I never saw from Yuri, who laughed everything off. If I'm in a relationship with him, I'd be happy. His bright smile would make me smile. <sighs> but regardless, the more I thought about it, the more I sighed. My heart sank more and more. Banjo. Banjo. Huh? Let's go to Banjo after school today. No! Tay is there! Why, all of a sudden? Shinbi suddenly suggested that we go to Banjo. I looked at her, wondering why, but she just closed her eyes. Good tea comforts people. So I nodded at what Shinbi said. Shinbi Route 1. I need to be healed. I'll die of jealousy if I stay still. Shinbi smiled at Soy's word. Still, I realized I felt less upset because I have these friends. Looks like we're going. I have no choice. What's up, dude? Alright, guys. So why does this guy get a sprite and not flower boy. I know, right? Isn't that weird? It's so weird, like... I, I, I huh. guess maybe because there are other routes where they go to Bonjul, but maybe flower boy only appears in this route? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That's a, that's a good, uh... A good theory there. Okay, guys. That has to be it. I have to go, uh... 
be good child, be good daughter right now. <laughs> Soi ga odi gatsu? Oh, okay. And so Soi is interested in Tay, Luisa. Yeah, Soi is for sure. Shinbei, I believe, is interested in Soi. <laughs> That's head canon. <laughs> But yes. thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Coco, for joining me. I'm sorry today wasn't on laughs like I thought it would be. It was no. really heavy. It, it was still fun. It's always great having Coco with me. All right. Aww. So that will be it, you guys. Have a good night. Take care.